I learned from an early mistake to really value our own culture while being ready to adapt to others. One of the first times that I went to teach a Western etiquette and culture course, I wanted to look the part. I had seen a lovely lady in a magazine wearing a checked suit and I wanted to copy it. So I went off to a street where they sell fabric by the meter and I bought a nice black and white checked fabric and had a suit stitched overnight by the local street tailor. The next day when I entered the conference hall, I had also invited an American friend, Susan Cotton, to come and interact with the students. She looked at me and said, Oh, you are in Western clothes today. That's interesting. When an American says that's interesting in that tone, there's usually something wrong. And there was certainly something wrong. My clothes were so ill-fitting and I was so uncomfortable in them that I did not give my best that day. That was the first and last time that I did something which was not true and authentic to who I am. After this, many years, I've been to Stanford University in America or the Porsche Museum in Germany and I've always worn a sari and a bindi and I can explain our own culture so people respect it. I can hold a conversation in a cocktail party and I don't drink any alcohol. I can even do a deal over a business meal even though I'm vegetarian because I know who I am deeply rooted in what I believe and I take interest in the other person. I encourage each one of you, please nurture your own culture, learn to answer questions about it proudly and keep an open mind to learn about the other person. Good luck. If you liked this video, do leave your comments below it and I welcome you to subscribe to this YouTube Champion Woman channel.